Check it out. Justin, it's great to see you. I know you can't hug me because you're holding <laughs> a very, very special fossil that we'll get into in just a moment, but I took a tour and I love it here. Me and my daughter come here all the time. But for those fourth graders out there, I want to kind of give them some insight. If they haven't been here or if they plan to come in the future, what can they expect? Sure. All the kids out there and the parents are attached to can come down to the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science and see all manner of different types of science, whether that's paleontology, which deals with fossilized animals, biology, which deals with live animals, geology, which deals with the rocks around us, um, astronomy, which deals with literally the cosmos that in, surround the Earth, all those aspects of science can be seen right here in the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science. Right here. And in fact, we are holding a piece of your collection. Yes, this is a giant amphibian. So the best way to think about this guy is a giant salamander. So if you, you guys have seen salamanders before, this one was six to eight feet long. Huge salamander. <laughs> Huge. And in fact, it was here before humans were. How far does this date back to? This dates back to 215 million years ago. Wow. Which is late Triassic in age. So these were the guys that were in the rivers when dinosaurs were evolving on the land. Can you imagine? I mean, that's even hard to fathom. Yeah. Now, what do you do here? Well, I'm actually a paleontologist, which means I study fossil animals just like this guy. And also, I manage our collection. And our collection consists of about 65,000 specimens in our in one of our outbuildings, as well as we also have 10,000 biology specimens. So we have both specimens of both fossilized animals and ones that we're, we're alive now. That's incredible. We're so fortunate that this collection is here and it comes from New Mexico. Yes, about 95% almost 100%, close, not quite, 95% are from right here in New Mexico. Now, I'm so proud to say that Good Day and the museum, they're relaunching off something really special called 300 Seconds of Science. Tell our children out there what that's all about. Okay, so, so 300 Seconds of Science is a really new, really cool idea. And what we're gonna be doing each week is we're gonna bring, be bringing you a brand new episode on Good Day. And basically, we're gonna be talking about a new topic about science, and we're gonna use the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science here as sort of a crossroads. So we can talk about all different types of science, and you guys can learn a little bit about all the different fields of science. It's gonna be great. The lesson for next week is we're gonna be looking at late Triassic dinosaurs. So some of the oldest dinosaurs known from around the world are actually found right here in New Mexico. They're the ones that were living on the land while this amphibian here was swimming in the rivers. And there's a question that these kids need to be thinking about. Yes, for next week, please find the answer to the question, what is New Mexico State Fossil, and where is it found? I have no idea, but they can do the research, right? You guys can go online, check out your local libraries, kind of get a feel for researching. Right, exactly. And what they can do is they can actually come down here to the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science and find it. It's actually hidden in our exhibits. Come check it out. Wow, very cool. And never stop learning. Never stop learning. You can catch 300 Seconds of Science every Monday right here on Good Day New Mexico. The New Mexico Museum of History and Science is located at 1801 Mountain Northwest. To learn about the exhibits on display, visit nmnaturalhistory.org.